Hi there. If you're new to the Hudson Valley, you're probably wondering what's with all those weird names? What's a Shanggung? Where's Kiskatam? Well, in this video, we're going to explore the origin of some of those strange names. I'm Joel Craig, your guide to Hudson Valley lifestyle and real estate. And if you're interested in what's happening in the Hudson Valley, subscribe to this channel. And if you enjoy the video, please hit the like button. To understand the origin of these names, you have to understand a little bit about the history of the Hudson Valley. Obviously, the Native Americans were here for millennia prior to the European settlers, and they gave name to places. And it seems to me that the names they gave um, were frequently based on the attributes of those places, like um, place of lots of fish or place of plentiful hickory nuts. And no doubt that helped future generations when it came to know where should we go to fish or where do we go to collect the hickory nuts. Then along came the Dutch. They were the earliest European settlers in the area. And as you can imagine, when they tried to pronounce the Native American names um, with different accents and intonations, um, they morphed into something slightly different. And then following the Dutch came the English. And of course, there were both Native American terms and Dutch terms to interpret. And so you get many different variations of the original terms for these places. So as you can imagine, that can lead to some confusion. And uh, one of the most confusing terms in the Hudson Valley is the word kill, which comes from the Dutch, means a stream or a creek. And there's places like Platakill, Wallkill, Bushkill, Catskill, Westkill, Sawkill, and even Fishkill. And interestingly enough, in 1996, PETA, the People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, petitioned the town of Fishkill to change their name because um, they thought obviously that was a bad name to have. Fish kill. Killing fish. Uh, and so it was explained to them that kill is the Dutch term for stream uh, and it got everybody pretty good laugh and probably got PETA some publicity. But anyway, it just goes to show some of the confusion surrounding some of these Hudson Valley names. So in the rest of the video, we're going to look at some of the specific names and their origins. A shokan is the Iroquois term for place of fish, and that's certainly the uh, case here at the Shokan Reservoir. 12 miles long, a mile wide, up to 190 feet deep in places, and it provides 123 billion gallons of water to New York City. I'm standing at the four corners in Kingston's historic stockade district. On each corner stands a building built prior to the Revolutionary War. Dutch called this area Wiltwick, which means wild refuge. And apparently it was. They built a stockade around their community, not just to keep the cattle in, but to keep their Native American neighbors out. Of course, a hundred years later, it wasn't the Native Americans they had to worry about. It was the British who burned Kingston during the Revolutionary War. So, as you might expect, the word Poughkeepsie has gone through several iterations, but the original meaning from the Wappingers Native Americans was Reed Covered Lodge by the Little Water. Now Poughkeepsie is a thriving city on the Hudson with cultural institutions, great colleges, and of course the walkway over the Hudson that draws tens of thousands of visitors each year.
So you might think that sorties is a Native American term. It kinda is in origin, but it's actually from the Dutch, zagerji, which means little sawyer, which was the nickname that the Native Americans gave to the first Dutch settler in the area. Now Saugerties is a really cool town located at equidistance between Kingston, Woodstock, and Catskill. They've got antiques, they've got restaurants, they've got world-class equestrian shows, they've got the world's largest garlic festival, and they've even got their own lighthouse. So between Stone Ridge and Olive Bridge, there's an area known as the Vlai. And I always wondered what that meant, where that word came from. It turns out it's Dutch from the Dutch word vlet or vliet, and it stands for swamp. Shandaken. I consider it the most beautiful town in the Catskills, surrounded by majestic mountains, crisscrossed by crystal clear streams. It's just a beautiful place. Oh, and by the way, Shandaken means land of rushing water. Esopus, from the Native American Sepus, which means little river, gives its name to the Esopus Creek, which winds its way from the highest peak of Slide Mountain all the way to the Hudson, as well as the town of Esopus, and it was also the name of a local Native American tribe. Winnesuk refers to the legendary giant native warrior that roamed the Catskill Mountains and Valleys. And Winnesuk Lake is of course the highest lake in the Catskills. It's also the headwaters of the Esopus Creek. Winnesuk gave its name to this delightful little Shandaken hamlet called Big Indian. The word clove comes from the Dutch word kloof, which means a gap, a notch, or a valley. I'm guessing someone got lost in this kloof. So full disclosure, I'm an alumni of Antioch Central School, and back in the day we were known as the Antioch Indians. Uh, now they're known as the more politically correct Antiora Eagles, but be that as it may, the term Antiora has uh, always been associated with Native Americans. Now there's a little bit of controversy in that Antiora may not actually be a Native American term, but a made-up term made to sound like it's a Native American term. Either way, Antiora will always be mountains in the sky. Shawangunk, that's the name given to a rocky range of mountains that run from southern Ulster County to northern Pennsylvania and New Jersey. Known locally as the Gunks, they're a great spot for hiking, rock climbing, even hang gliding. The earliest use of the term goes back to a Dutch deed with the Native Americans. The term uh, loosely translated means in the smoky air. Now there's a little bit of controversy about exactly what that means. Um, one interpretation may refer to the uh, Native American settlement at the foot of the Shawangunks that was burned by the Dutch settlers in the Esopus War. 
uh, or it may be more loosely translated uh, as a physical aspect, perhaps the morning mist rising over the Shongunks. I like that version better. What would a visit to the Shongunks be without a visit to Minnewaska? Of course, Minnewaska sounds like a Native American name, and it kind of is. The name Minnewaska, and it's really a composite of two Native American terms, meaning sweet water. Of course, those Native Americans weren't native to the Hudson Valley. They were the Cheyenne and the Sioux from the Great Plains. So Catskill derives from the Dutch kat, K-A-A-T, which means wildcat, and of course as we discussed, kill means stream. So the town of Catskill, the village of Catskill, and of course the surrounding mountains, the Hudson Valley, the Catskills, all come from the Dutch wildcat. Kiskatom is a hamlet within the town of Catskill. In Algonquin, the term means hickory nuts or place of plentiful hickory nuts. The name Kuksaki here in Greene County originates from the Native American Kak Aki, which means place of geese. But wait, there's at least one other interpretation of Kuksaki, and that is the owl's hoot, or the hoot of an owl. And that seems to be the preferred version. Either way, this charming Hudson Valley town is interpreted as a noisy bird. I'll let you figure out the history on this one. So there you have it. I hope that explains some of the uh, more common strange names in the area. And of course, if you come across a strange name, I would encourage you to look up the origins of it. This is Joel Craig, your guide to Hudson Valley lifestyle and real estate, and I'll see you out there.